Hello Project Quimbly enjoyers and welcome to the second attempt at making a proper modding tutorial. There's actually been plenty of new tools that's come out since the previous modding tutorial and honestly the whole system is a lot more streamlined. So without further ado, let's start the first section. Visual Assets. First step is to organize your folders. Create a new folder called Quimbly Mod or something of the like, and inside it you're going to put a backup folder, a mod folder, and a tools folder. Put whatever Project Quimbly version you're meaning to mod into the mod folder. Copy the Project Quimbly 2.0 underscore data folder into your backup folder. This way, if you make a mistake, you can easily get back on track. Next, download UABEA from the link in the description and extract it to your tools folder. Now you're ready to start changing files. You're going to want to start by opening the Project Quimbly 2.0 underscore data folder in your mod folder and UABEA. All of the game assets are stored in these dot assets folders. Now Shared Assets 1 is going to have most of the game because it has all the prefabs and other things we use commonly, but technically each of these numbers actually applies to what scene it is, but for most things you're going to want to look in Shared Assets 1. So click and drag Share Assets 1 into the UABEA window. This is going to open a list of assets that are in Quimbly. The only ones we're going to care about today are the Texture 2D files. Those ones are basically all the images you see everywhere. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm only going to be changing the Deb icon that is in the gallery menu on the main menu. When you've found the asset you're looking for, you're going to want to select it, hit Plugins, and then Export Texture. Technically don't have to export the texture, but I'm just doing it so I can have a little bit of fun with it. When you've completed editing your texture, go ahead and click on the same asset you were going to edit before. Once again, hit Plugins, but now you're going to hit Edit Texture. Hit the Load button and select the file you edited earlier. Finally, hit File, then Save, and see what your mod looks like. And now look at that little nerd. Thanks for watching, and this concludes the first part of the four-part modding tutorial. In the next part, we'll cover audio editing.